today we are going to do the story the thief story as the title suggests we have already know that it is going to be the story about a thief the uh, the thief story it is written by raskin born now we are going to see something about the author so this is the picture of raskin born and now we are going to read something about the author here raskin born he is an indian author of british descent he lives with his adopted family in landore mussoorie india the indian council for child education has recognize his role in the growth of children's literature in india he was born in 19 may 1934 he was uh, at this time he was 86 years old and he was born in kasauli he got his education at the bishop katan school shimla movies and tv shows which are uh, based on raskin born seven sat kun ma and the blue the blue umbrella the black cat junoon ek tha rasti the second part some of the awards he had got are padma bhushan and padma shri his parents were obri born and edith clark so here now we are going to go in his story the thief story something about the story here introduction The story, as we know, it is about a 15-year-old thief, and this thief he always changes his name every month. Why? Because to stay ahead of the police and the old employers. This time, that is at the time of the story, he kept his name as Hari Singh, and the other person, the or the other character in the story is a 25-year-old writer named Anil. The thief meets Anil and asks him if he can. if he can work for him the story unfolds on how the thief betrays anil by committing a theft but retracts later on now let us start with the story here read find out who does i refer to in the story question number 2 what is he a fairly successful hand at what does he get from anil in return for his work the story as it goes i was still a thief when i met anil and though only 15 i was an experienced and fairly successful hand anil was watching a wrestling match when i approached him he was about 25 a tall lean fellow and he looked easy going kind and simple enough for my purpose i hadn't had much luck of fate and thought i might be able to get into the young man's confidence i was still a thief when i met anil the story begins with the first person pronoun i so in the story narration there will be two types of story narration one is first person narration another is third person narration when the story when the story is told by the by the narrator himself that is when the narrator becomes a character himself in the story it will be a first person narration and when the story is told by uh, someone about a third person it will be third person narration and here the story is going to be told by the by hari itself and he himself is going to be the one of the main character so this is a story in first person narration Now the story begins I was still a thief when I met Anil So the I here will be Hari Singh And at this time he was only 15 years old but though he he was only 15 years he was already an experienced and fairly successful hand he was already a successful person in his business that is in his profession of being a thief at the time when hari was watch uh, hari was uh, have seen for have seen anil for the first time what was anil doing he was watching a wrestling match and it seems that 
Anil was about 25 years old. He was a lean, he was a lean and tall fellow. And he looked easy going, very simple person. And kind and simple enough for my purpose. My purpose here means Hari Singh, the thief, already felt by looking at Anil that he will be very easy, an easy target for his purpose of stealing. That is, he can easily steal from Anil. And the boy is continuing that I hadn't had much luck of lead and I thought I might be able to get into the young man's confidence. He is going to make friends with Anil first in order to steal something from him. Now I am going to show you a wrestling match here. This is the wrestling match. This is a picture. And after what happened? After Hari had met Anil, he in order to make friend, he said, You look a bit of a wrestler yourself, I said. A little flattery helps in making friends. So do you, he replied, which put me off for a moment because at the time I was rather thin. Well, I said modestly, I do wrestle a bit. What's your name? Hari Singh, I lied. I took a new name every month. That kept me ahead of the police and my former employers. So, uh, uh, sorry, Hari Singh, he went to Anil and he said that, you look a bit of a wrestler yourself. Anil looks like a wrestler. Hari Singh is giving him a false praise. Flattery here means a false praise in order to make someone happy. But Anil, he, he was not an easy fellow and he replied, so do you. At that time, which put me off for a moment. Hari Singh was a little surprised hearing it because at that time he was not a bit look like a wrestler. He was a very thin person. In this way, they get on talking and Anil asked Hari Singh, what's your name? And he replied, Hari Singh gave a false name that he, he was called Hari Singh. And he is giving an explanation that he took a new name every month in order to escape from the police and the former, his former employers. After a short introduction, Anil talked about the well-oiled wrestler who were drunkling, lifting and throwing each other about. I didn't have much to say. Anil walked away. I followed casually. Hello again, he said. I gave him my most appealing smile. I want to work for you, I said, I said but I can't pay you. So the, some of the word meanings it is given here. Lean as the meaning is thin, flattery. A little flattery helps in making friends. A flattery here means excessive and insincere praise. Modestly, in an unassuming manner, without vanity or arrogance. Employers, a person or organization that employs people that gives work to the people. Grunting means to make a low, short, guttural sound. Appealing means attractive or interesting. Here, uh, after making some conversation, as they did not have much to say, Anil went away. But Hari Singh is not leaving him. He is following him. And he gave him his most appealing, attractive smile and said to Anil that he wanted to work for him. But Anil replied that I did not have any money to pay you. I thought that over for a minute. Perhaps I had mis sorry, perhaps I had misjudged my man. I asked, can you feed me? Can you cook? I can cook. I like the game. If you can cook, then maybe I can feed you. Now Hari Singh he began to think of another way. Then he after thinking for some time, he feel that he had misjudged my man. Misjudged. 
here it means a form to form a wrong opinion or conclusion about my man here means referring to anil at first he feel that why why he saying that he had misjudged his man at first he thinks that anil was a simple person whom he could easily rob but it does not seem that anil is at all a simple person then anil said that if you wanted me to feed you then can you cook how is saying he like again i can cook anil singh said that if you can cook then i can feed you after that what happened he took me to his room over the jamuna sweet shop and told me i could sleep on the balcony but the meal i cooked that night must have been terrible because anil gave it to me a straight off and told me to be off but i just hung around smiling in my most appealing way and he couldn't help laughing after some conversation after talking anil then he felt that hari singh could cook and he took him anil took hari singh to his room that is over the jamuna sweet shop then he told him anil told hari that he could sleep on the balcony balcony means a platform enclosed by a wall or balustrade on the outside of a building with access from an upper floor window or door here the picture of a balcony this is the part of a balcony here at that night and uh, hari singh he had cooked a meal but it was a very terrible meal terrible here means extremely bad or serious but and anil singh could not eat the food he gave it to the stray dog to the dog who were wandering on the street and anil got very angry and told hari to get away from his house but anil sorry but hari singh did not went away he went on smiling in his attractive manner and at last anil couldn't help but he laughed at hari singh later he patted me on the head and said never mind he would teach me to cook he also taught me to write my name and said he would soon teach me to write whole sentences and to add numbers i was grateful i knew that once i could write like an educated man there would be no limit to what i could achieve next what happened after that anil patted uh, hari singh on the head and said to never mind and that he is going to teach him how to write his name and how to write whole sentences and to add numbers when he heard those words hari singh felt so happy and he felt that there would be no limitation to what he could achieve in his life patted means to touch quickly and gently with the flat of the hand this is a mother patting her children pleasant means giving a sense of happy satisfaction or enjoyment it was quite pleasant walking for anil i made the tea in the morning and then would take my time buying the daily supplies usually making a profit of about a rupee a day i think he knew i made a little money this way but he did not seem to mind in this way anil start uh, sorry not anil hari singh uh, is feeling very happy walking for anil and he used to make tea in the morning for anil and then and the after that he would go to the market to buy the day supply and in this way he also used to take one rupee every day from the groceries money and hari is saying that he feel that anil knew that he had taken one rupee every day but it seems that anil did not mind at all In the next page, Anil met money by fits and starts. He would borrow one week 
land the nets. He kept worrying about his next check, but as soon as it arrived, he would go out and celebrate. It seems he wrote for magazines, a queer way to make a living. Hari Singh is saying that Anil used to get money, not regularly, fit and start. He used to get one day, uh, he, he, could, he got money and the next week, he does not get anything. Hari Singh is saying that Anil would borrow when he had, uh, when he did not have any money, he would borrow. And when he had so much money, he would lend out to his friends. Then, uh, when he had so much money, he would lend out to his friends and he would even go out and celebrate with his friends. It seems that the profession or the job of Anil is he write for magazines. And writing for magazines and getting money, it is a queer way. Queer here means strange way to make a living in the viewpoint of Hari Singh. Fit and stars, here is the word meaning given here. Not working on some something consistently. Borrow, take and use, something belonging to someone else with the intention of returning it. Lend, grant to someone the use of something on the understanding that it will be returned. Queer, that means friends or odd. One evening, he came home with a small bundle of notes saying he had just sold a book to a publisher. At night, I saw him tuck the money under the mattress. I have been working for Anil for almost a month and apart from cheating on shopping, had not done anything in my line of work. I had every opportunity for doing so. Anil had given me a key to the door and I could come and go as I pleased. He was the most trusting person I had ever met. And one day what happened? Anil returned home with a small bundle of notes in his hand and he told Hari that he had sold a book to a publisher. And Anil kept the money tucked under the mattress. The word meaning is to tuck means to push, fold or turn the edges or ends of something especially a garment or bedclothes so as to hide or secure them. And here, Hari saw Anil keeping the money under the mattress. Then seeing this, he felt tempted to steal the money from Anil. And at the same time, he is also justifying that uh, he had he was not working in his line for a long time and Anil at the same time also did not give him anything for his work. And he is also saying that he has every opportunity to steal from Anil because Anil had already given him the key to the door of his room. But the main thing, what stopped him from stealing from Anil is that he was the most trusting person that Hari Singh had ever met in his life. And that's why it was so difficult to rob him. It's easy to rob a greedy man because he can afford to be robbed. But it's difficult to rob a careless man. Sometimes he doesn't even notice he has been robbed and that takes all the pleasure out of the work. Well, it's time I did some work, I told myself. I'm out of practice and if I don't take the money, he will only waste it on his friends. After all, he doesn't even pay me. Hari is saying that to steal from Anil, it is going to be a very difficult job. Because it seems that Anil was a careless man. And for a thief to steal a careless man, it was a very difficult job which does not give him any enjoyment or thrill to steal from him because a careless man doesn't even know that he has lost things. But what happened to Hari Singh when he saw the money he was really tempted to steal it. Then he is saying that he is going to steal that money for if he did not steal it then Anil 
is surely going to wear it to his friends. In the next part, let us find out how does the thief think Anil will react to the theft. What does he say about the different reactions of people when they are robbed? Does Anil realize he has been robbed? Anil was asleep. A beam of moonlight stepped over the balcony and fell on the bed. I sat up on the floor considering the situation. If I took the money, I could get the 1030 express to Lucknow. Sleeping out of the blanket, I crept up to the bed. Anil was sleeping peacefully. His face was clear and unlined. Even I had more marks on my face, though mine were mostly scars. Thinking to steal from Anil, Hari Singh came to the came inside the room of Hari Singh. At the time, uh, sorry. Hari Singh, in order to steal from Anil, he come inside the room of Anil. At the time, what was Anil doing? He was already asleep with a beam of moonlight falling over the balcony and falling on the bed. And Hari Singh is now beginning to think that he could stole the money, that he could steal the money and he will be able to catch the 1030 express to Lucknow. Thinking this, what did he do? He went slowly up to the bed of Anil and he looked at the face of Anil and it seems that Anil does not have any marks or scars on his face and Hari Singh felt that he has more marks on his face than Anil. Here are the sum of the words meaning here. Line of work means the principal activity in your life that you do to earn money. Beam, a ray or shaft of light. Creep here means move slowly and carefully in order to avoid being hard or notice to come slowly. Drew here means pull or drag. My hands slid under the mattress searching for the notes. When I found them, I drew them out without a sound. Anil sighed in his sleep and turned on the side towards me. I was startled and quickly crawled out of the room. My hand, now Hari Singh. He slid, he put his hand under the mattress in order to search for the note which was kept by Anil. Then he found the notes and he pulled it without a sound. And in his sleep, Anil was making some sigh. In sigh here means emit a long deep audible breath expressing sadness, relief or tiredness and Hari was startled he was shocked and then he quickly crawled out of the room startled here means feeling or showing sudden shock or alarm when he heard Anil making uh, when Anil was sighing at the time Hari got a shock then he quickly went away from the room of Anil after stealing the money when I was on the road, I began to run. I had a knot at my waist, held there by the string of my pajamas. I strode down to a walk and counted the knots. 600 rupees in 50s. I could keep like an oil rich Arab for a week or two. Now, Hari Singh, he went away from the room of Anil, went outside the room, and now he reached the road. And he could feel the money which was tied by the string in his pajamas. When he counted the money, it was it was found out that it was 600 rupees in 50s and he felt that he could now live a lavish or a rich life just like an oil rich Arab, just like a rich person for a week or two. Beam of light. When I reached the station, I did not stop at the ticket office. I had never bought a ticket in my life, but dashed straight to the platform. 
The Lucknow Express was just moving out. The train had still to pick up speed. And I should have been able to jump into one of the carriages, but I hesitated for some reason I can't explain. And I lost the chance to get away. Hari Singh, he went away. And now he reached the station. At the time, the train, that is the Lucknow Express, was just moving out. And he had the chance to jump into one of the carriages and escape from the place. But Hari Singh cannot do it. it. He felt hesitated and he said that he does not know what happened to him but he just can't jump up on the carriages and move away from the station. In this way, the train left and Hari Singh was left behind all alone in the railway station. When the train had gone, I found myself standing alone on the deserted platform. I had no idea where to spend the night. I had no friends believing that friends were more trouble than hell. And I did not want to make anyone curious by staying at one of the small quarters near the station. The only person I knew really well was the man I had brought. Leaving the station, I walked slowly through the bazaar. Now the train had gone away and Hari Singh was left behind. He was all alone on the platform or on the, on the station. Deserted platform means the station where there is no one. Hari Singh, he does not know where to spend the night because he had no other friends because he felt that friends were more trouble. Friends gave him more trouble than hell. And he also did not want to stay in a small hotel because to stay nearby in a small hotel at the time, it would make people curious. And now he came to realize that at that particular place, the only person whom he was familiar was only Anil, that person whom he had robbed. Now he do not know what to do, so he is walking through the bazaar. In my short career as a thief, I had met a study of men's faces when they had lost their goods. The greedy man showed fear, the rich man showed anger, the poor man showed acceptance. But I knew that Anil's face, when he discovered the theft, would show only a touch of sadness. Not for the loss of money, but for the loss, loss of trust. Hari Singh, he began to think that in his career, in his life as a thief, he met a lot of study. He was already an experienced person and he met a lot of study of men's faces when they lost their property. The greedy man, they would show fear when they feel that someone has stolen things from them. The rich men showed anger and the poor men, they showed accepted, acceptance. They will not try to even find out who has stolen their property. But when he came to remember Anil, he felt that Anil would surely feel very sad when he found out that Hari had stolen his money. But not for the loss of money, but for the loss of trust. I found myself in a maidan and sat down on a bench. The night was chilly. It was early November and a light drizzle added to my discomfort. Soon it was raining quite heavily. My shirt and pyjama stuck to my skin and cold wind blew the rain across my face. Not knowing what to do, not knowing where to go, what happened to Hari Singh, he was now sitting in the maidan. Maidan or park and there he sat on a bench and that particular night it was very chilly, it was very cold because it was the month of early November and above the cold a light drizzle, a light rain began to fall continued, the rain continued and it was raining heavily now all the clothes of the Hari Singh got wet. Some of the word meaning are shelter means a place giving temporary protection from bad weather or danger. Clock tower. It is a tower typically forming the part of a church or civic building with a large clock at the top. This is the picture of the clock tower. Midnight, 12 o'clock at night. Dan means to be slightly wet. Cinema, 
a theater where films are shown for public entertainment. Let us continue with the story here. I went back to the bazaar and sat down in the shelter of the clock tower. The clock shot midnight. I fell for the notes. They were done from the then. Anil's money. In the morning, he would probably have given me two or three rupees to go to the cinema. But now I had it all. I couldn't cook his meals, run to the bazaar, or learn to write false sentences anymore. Hurry. He then went back, back to the bazaar and then he sat under the shelter of the clock tower. The clock short midnight and he fell for the knot. It was wet. It was wet. It was damp. Anil's money. Hari Singh felt that it was the money of Anil. And if he hadn't stolen and run away, maybe Anil would have given him two or three rupees that to go to the cinema and enjoy for himself. And but now at that particular moment he had all the money of Anil. But he had also lost something, a more bigger thing in his life. That is, he would not be able to return back to Anil to cook his meals, to run to the bazaar, or learn to write false and any more. He now re began to realize that by stealing the money, he had lost a big chance in his life. I had forgotten about them in the excitement of the theft. Four sentences I knew could one day bring me more than a few hundred rupees. It was a simple matter to steal and sometimes just a simple to be caught. But to be a really big man, a clever and respected man was something else. I should go back to Anil, I told myself, if only to learn to read and write. Slowly by slowly, Hari began to realize that he was losing something in his life. He was beginning to lose chance. What was the chance? That of becoming a big man by being educated, by being literate, which he could, which he could get. The education which he could get, the chance of being a literate person which he could get from the place of Anil, it seems that it was beginning to faint. And he said that it was a very simple method to steal from others and just a simple to be caught, but to become a big man, a successful person in the life, it was going to be something nice. And that thing he could get only by reading and writing and that could be fulfilled by I should go back to Anil. I told myself if only to learn to read and write. In this way, he has made up his mind that in order to be a successful person, it is a compulsory to go back to Anil. I hurried back to the room feeling very nervous, for it is much easier to steal something than to return it undetected. I opened the door quietly and stood in the doorway. In clouded moonlight, Anil was still asleep. I crept to the bed of the sorry, I crept to the head of the bed and my hand came up with a noise. I felt his breath on my hand. I remained still for a minute. Then my hand found the edges of the mattress and slipped under it with the nose. Now, Hari returned back to Anil. And then he kept the money undetected under the mattress in the former place. I awoke late next morning to find that Anil had already met the tea. He stretched out his hands, hands towards me. There was a 50 rupee knot between his fingers. My heart sank. I thought I had been discovered. I met someone yesterday, he explained. Now we will be back regularly. My spirit rose, but when I took the money, I saw it was still wet from the night's rain. Today, we'll start writing sentences, he said. He knew, but neither his lips nor his eyes showed anything. I smiled at Anil in my most appealing way, and the smile came by itself without any effort. In the next morning, Hari woke up late, and Anil had already met the tea, getting the tea with a 50 rupee knot between his fingers. At the time, Hari Singh was, he was frightened that maybe he had been discovered that he had stolen the money. And Anil said that he had met money and now he is going to pay Hari Singh regularly. And not only that, he is also started going to teach Hari Singh 
writing sentences. At that time, Hari Singh felt really grateful and he was smiling genuinely out of happiness. And this is how the story came to an end. So this is the sum up of the story here. The story, it was about a 15 years old thief. One day he approached a man of about 25 years old, Anil. Anil at the time he was watching a wrestling match. The thief approached Anil and started talking to him because he felt that he had robbed, he had not robbed anyone in the past few days and thought it would be easy to rob a simple person like Anil. They started talking and Anil asked the thief his name. The thief introduced himself as Hari Singh. This was not his real name as he changed his name every month in order to escape from his ex-employers and the policemen. After that, for, after talking for some time about the wrestlers, they did not have anything to say much. So Anil went away and Hari Singh followed him. And uh, he asked him, Hari asked him if he could work for Anil. Anil said that he won't be able to pay him but could feed him if he knew how to cook. Hari knew, said that he knew how to cook. Hari lied he knew how to cook. And Anil took Hari to his room. Hari cooked a bad meal which Anil could not eat. Anil asked Hari to leave but he tried to please Anil by smiling in his most attractive way. Anil could not stop laughing at him. Anil agreed to teach Hari how to cook, write full sentences and add numbers. Hari was grateful as he knew that there was no limit to what he could achieve once he learned how to write. The narrator used to like working for Anil. He used to make him tea in the morning and then go out to buy the groceries for the day. He used to steal one rupee for the money that was given to him to buy the groceries every day. Anil knew that he used to steal but did not mind. Anil used to make money by edible works. Sometimes he used to borrow money and the other day, when he had money, he would be lending it to the other people. Whenever he used to go get money, he would go out with his friends to celebrate. One day, Anil came up with a bundle of notes and told Hari that he had sold a book to a publisher. At night, he kept the money safely under the mattress of his, under, uh, of his bed. And Hari realized that he had been working for Anil for more than a month and not stolen anything for about a uh, for about some time rather than the one rupee and he had also the chance to steal from Anil because he had a key to this room. But he was surprised with the amount of trust Anil had on him as he had never seen such a trusting person in his life. This trust thing was preventing him, preventing Hari from robbing Anil. Again Hari thought that robbing a careless person like Anil didn't make much difference because he might not even notice that he had been robbed and then took out all the funds from the work. Then he thought of stealing Anil's money and justified himself that if he didn't steal money from Anil, he would waste it on his friend. Then that night Anil woke up and he went to Anil's bed, he stole the money and decided to leave the city. But when he was about to catch the train, he hesitated and he himself did not know that he was not able to escape from the place. That time, he felt that when he found the money, he felt that he could live like some rich, well rich Arab, like a rich person. But he was not able to escape, he was left behind and then he had no place to sleep because he had no friend and the only person he knew was Anil. Who whom he had looked at him as well. So he sat on a bench under the clock tower and then began to fall. This is a picture of oil rich Arab. I have seen the, I have shown you here. This is the train here. And this is the carriages. After the train had left, Hari was all alone and now he then began to fall down and he did not know what to do. But he got the realization that he would get much more respectable and honest job if he know how to read and write that he could get from Anil's place. Thinking that he returned back to Anil and he kept the money back from the place where he had taken out that is from under the mattress and in the morning he wake up late and Hari, Hari wake up very late, Anil came and gave him tea with a 50 rupee note. 
and he said that he had what uh, paid for some work and said that he would be paid regularly. Now uh, Anil is going to pay Hari regularly. Hari took the note in his hand and realized that the net note was still wet from the land last night. Hari then realized that Anil had come to know about his mistake. But there were no sadness, anger or guilt in the mind of Anil. Anil was not angry at all. The narrator that is Hari Singh, he smiled in a beautiful way which showed his genuine happiness as he knew that he had set himself from the wrong path. Now so there are some assignments here. Question number one, who is the I in the story? Question number two, what is the fairly successful hand at? And question number three, how will Anil react to the theft? Last question is, does Anil realize that he has been wrong? And that is the end of our lesson. Thank you everyone.